My name is Dr. Thomas Prévost. I'm a scientist in the Center for Addiction and Mental Health, or CAMH, and an assistant professor at the University of Toronto in the Department of Psychiatry. My group has a particular interest at reducing baseline anxiety and reactivity in mice in order to reduce data variability and improve animal welfare. Mice have proven to be invaluable assets in basic science and preclinical research. However, very few labs around the world control for baseline anxiety and reactivity of their laboratory animals, therefore complicating replicability of data between labs. A major contributing factor to baseline anxiety is uncontrolled environmental variables such as housing conditions, environmental enrichment, and exposure to stress. While well, standardization of housing conditions and enrichment has helped improve this issue, Exposure to stress during interaction with experimenters is still largely unaddressed in mice. Tail handling, the process of lifting the mouse by the tail, is still the most widely used mouse handling technique, despite it being particularly stressful. Though alternatives to tail handling have emerged, including tunnel handling and cup handling, adoption of these techniques has been slow. Here we describe a novel technique similar to cup handling, which can be implemented with as little as three days of habituation, or 3D handling. By gradually increasing the degree and complexity of interaction and progressing in response to the reactivity of the mouse to certain handling milestones, we can reduce stress and facilitate routine handling. We assess the efficacy of 3D handling in mice in behavioral tests assessing anxiety-like behaviors, interaction with experimenters, and peripheral stress hormone corticosterone levels, and provide a comparison with tunnel handling and tail handling techniques. Gently open the cage and place the lid on the side. Introduce your gloved hand to the home cage before attempting to pick up the mouse.